Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. But before we get started, let's reach into the top hat for the Magic Illusion of the Week. If you have a business card that's blank on one side, I'm going to show you a real nifty way to pretend to print on the back of your card. Now I'm going to show it to you very slowly. We're going to take this card that's blank on one side and it's also blank on the other. And I'm going to print the other side of the card. And the way we do this is turn our hand over and begin typing and out comes the card with the printing on it. Now how do we do that? How do we take a blank card and put printing magically on it? To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. This week we've got three different tips for you. They're all three very short, so I'm going to tell them, make it a little trilogy this time. It's a triple threat. So what I'm going to do is describe two ways to dry the canal more efficiently and one way that you can use EDTA to remove the smear layer in a little bit different order than you might be using it. I was taught to use EDTA, which is a chelating agent, at the very end of the preparation to make sure and remove all of the smear layer. The problem is, if we're going to use sodium hypochlorite and really do a good job of cleaning out the lateral canals, we should remove the smear layer first. So all I'm going to suggest this week is first, when you do your entire preparation, save the EDTA to the second to last, do that, then you put sodium hypochlorite in the canal, activate it with the sonic handpiece as we've talked in the past, and if you do that for two minutes per canal, that will flush everything out. So use the EDTA first, then use the sodium hypochlorite second, and you'll find your canals will be a whole lot cleaner. And there's one more reason I want to leave the sodium hypochlorite until the very last. I want to use all of my nickel titanium files, complete the preparation, remove the smear layer, and then soak the canal for two minutes with sonic or ultrasonic instrumentation. Because Gary Chung did a study where he found that 13 to 15 percent of the time you will get corrosion of your nickel titanium files if you work the file using sodium hypochlorite as the lubricant. So I really don't want to do that. I don't want to corrode my nickel titanium files. Even though I'm not going to reuse them, I still don't want the corrosion products in the canal. So I will do regular lubrication using anything you like, followed by EDTA to remove the smear layer so we can then put sodium hypochlorite in the canal and do a good thorough job of cleaning it. And here's tip number two. If you're not using a resin sealer, you can use ethyl alcohol and put it in the canal as your very last rinse. Then it will soak out fluid from the tubules and as you put the paper point in you can blow air for three seconds across the tip of the point and that will give almost a venturi effect as it wicks the uh, alcohol back out of the canal and it'll dry much much faster if you do that. Again we don't want to use it with resin cements because it might inhibit the set. And here's a really good tip. Tip number three is how do you find the fourth canal if you don't locate it. Usually it's pretty easy to find the three canals that are in an upper molar, but the two canals in the mesiobuccal root sometimes are very difficult to locate. Let's assume that you cannot. You've tried, you've worked for about 15 minutes, you can't find that fourth canal. Here's my tip. Send the patient home. Bring the patient back for the next visit and don't use anesthetic. Then as you use your drill, and your burr is looking around for where you think that canal is, the patient will feel a little bit of something going on when you get close to that canal. That will help you pinpoint and locate the fourth canal. So those are your three tips of the week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to join me at our very next root camp. So long for now. <laughs> <laughs>